I'm Sneeze Rainey, and I got next. You next up, and you ain't been on sports like talk. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next, and you up next. Keep the boys go hard. Rock the star on the big team. Make them know who you are. You don't break the sweat. Don't settle for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flex. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, ready to go. Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and are your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask me, Jones or head coach. Who got next? Who got next? Who got next? Yeah, SLT Nation. What it do, fam? Welcome back to another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next, a platform that gives exposure to the voices of voices of tomorrow. It is season four, the year of the Mamba, and KT and I are still on this incredible journey of finding rising superstars, future phenoms, and super sensations in our communities who are doing big things and accomplishing big dreams and today that big dream go about six one and got a J that'll shoot the lights out in the gym ladies and gentlemen our first time seeing this young lady she took our breath away in what we consider the one of the biggest upsets in the 2023 playoffs and then come to find out as we continue to follow her she can play some defense ladies and gentlemen we need Frisco right now to step up and stand out for one of their very own the class of 2025 2023 defensive player of the year represent panther creek we need y'all to make some noise for sinise rainy <laughs> rain down on me da, 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 da. hey sinise what's going on how you doing today i'm good how are y'all hey we super excited about having you on the show We've been we've been following you for about a year and a half. You know that, huh? Yes. You, you, you seen us on the? Oh, you gave us a picture. You gave us a picture. We we got we got to put that picture up on the screen here, of where we got the opportunity to meet Sinise. But uh, if this is your first time rocking with the SLT crew, I am your host, the Mouth of the South B Jones, the OG, all things Louisiana. We'll put your L's up, Mister E. Is in the building, and I'm rocking alongside my brother from another mother. The other side of the logo, the choir storm. Shh. All facts, no cap. The head coach KT. Kev, how you feeling today, man? I'm feeling great, B. Jones, but when I ask a certain question during the initiation, and if I don't get the answer I feel is worthy, I'm gonna be upset. But I answer your question, I, B. Jones. I, I feel great. We got a dog on the show. Oh, oh, turn oh. Up. Hey, let's turn, hold, hold up, BJ, let's turn up again for Panther Creek. Panther Creek. Oh my goodness. We love this pro. Shout out to Coach uh, uh Farron. Coach 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 Farron Anderson. We love you, Coach. Yeah, you know, another coach that knows she dodged on this show. She, she, no. She, she, B Jones, she can't dodge us anymore. She's been nominated. She <sighs> we, we gonna see. We, we already put it out there on social media. So she I, <laughs> I hit her up I said, hey, it's time. And she's like, Yeah, you're right. So coach. You know who we talking about. We know who we talking to. Coach Adam. All right, y'all. Let's go. Let's get this thing cranking with my favorite part of the show. One of my favorite parts of the show. The moment of truth. That's right. We're about to play the SLT version of Two Truths and a Lie with Sinise Rainey. And we're going to call it Two Truths and an Untruth. <laughs> <laughs> Mama told me not to say a lie. All right, but here we go. Before the show, Miss Rainey has selected three facts about herself. But y'all, as you can tell from the title, one of these facts ain't true. So, uh, Kevin and I will have exactly 60 seconds to work as a team and try to figure out which one of these facts about Sinise Rainey is 100% pure cap. All right, Sinise, give us your three facts. Okay. I've been to seven schools. I know how to play the piano, and I was a gymnast. She's 6'1", KT. The gymnast thing, I kinda, I'm buying. I'm feeling that a little bit. Yeah. I'm feeling the gymnast thing. The seven schools... You know what, Kevin? She could be including like elementary and uh, middle school. So that that's possible. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that's true. I'm going to say seven schools and gymnastics is true. I think, I 
don't think she know how to tickle the ivories. Do you think she know how to tickle the ivories, KT? Does she look like a with piano player? Like, yeah, yeah, she actually does with the name Sunise. That just sounds like a piano player to me, B. Jones. But that's the one you want to go with. No, no, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you. you wait, wait, what you feeling? No. I, I'm not, I'm not 100 percent standing on this one. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she kind of got her. Come on, KT. Fifteen seconds left, man. What, what your pick is gonna let's be? Go, let's go with the piano, man, because all of them sound pretty good. Let's see what piano. We go with you on this. Now, Sinise, if you tell me you went to six schools and not seven, I'm gonna be hot. But we gonna go with number two is Cap Sinise. Which one is the lie? That's that's the lie. Yeah. You you don't know how to tickle the ivories? No, she don't. Oh! You, you right, we know good. <laughs> Oh my God, y'all gotta understand, it ain't enough research out there in the world for us to know if this young lady been to seven schools or not. So that was a 100% a guess, but we got it right. We on the win streak. Y'all keep straight. watching the show. Hey, we, we might actually turn this thing around. We've been trash at this game at the beginning of the year, but now it's starting to look pretty good. All right, we're going to talk about some of those facts here a little bit later, Sinise. But y'all know what time it is. We in the car. We got to get this party started. Sinise, take your right hand. Reach it up, Sinise. Come on, there it is. Reach over your left shoulder. Grab that seatbelt and click. Clack strap up. It's time to start. Take y'all on an incredible ride. And the first thing we got to do after we get the radio all set and go, turn the volume up, by the way, is we got to pay the bills. That's right. A call to action to help KT and I keep this platform blazing. I'm talking hot as fish grease. We got to keep this thing going. And we need you who are on the other side of this monitor right now to smash that. You know, y'all know what y'all got to do. Four big things. Number one, we need you to stay as long as you possibly can. The longer you watch the show, the more credit YouTube gives us. Number two, we need you to hit that like button as many times as Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg will allow you to hit it. I mean, we need this show to bubble all the way up to the top. Number three, we need you to share this with all of your people. If you in math class right now, watch it. Send it to the folks in science, and then it don't matter. Send, <laughs> if you at PE, you know, send this to all your folks and tell them about one five. This young lady is the truth, and we're gonna prove it here today. Number three, now excuse me, number four. And the final thing, you got to become a part of the Sports Life Talk Nation. Show us some love and smash that subscribe button. We commit to y'all. We're going to keep dropping amazing content and telling the story of, of women's basketball from the inside out. We're going to keep rocking hard for y'all. Sinise, this is our second time at Panther Creek. I feel like I should be wearing you know, a Panther Creek hoodie or something by now. You know what I'm saying? As much love as we can give Panther Creek, we go on the road with y'all at the playoff games and stuff. But but Sinise, is, 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 are y'all going to hold us down? Is Panther Creek going to show us some love? Is Panther Nation going to yes. show us some love? Yes. So you sure about that? You ain't say, say, yeah. you, you say you saying it with your chest and knees. I mean, just, yes. And then it looked up. She, she, was, <laughs> she even stood up on me. All right, Panther Creek, on the count of three. Let's do it. Like you're true to it. One, two, three. Boo! It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. I love that. I love that. And we're so excited about having all of our new family members from Panther Creek rocking with us. If you was already a part of the family, we appreciate you. But all of our new ones, y'all come on in. Give us a hug. Because KT and I, we don't do fans. We don't do followers. We only do family around here. So we want to welcome you to the Sports Life Talk family. K ask Anise. What is the emoji of the show? What is your favorite emoji that all of the people that's watching this can use right now to sign in and shout out? Mm, the laughing emoji. All right. It's just that simple. We're going to keep it laughing emoji. We're going to have a good time, but throw that laughing emoji in the chat and let the world know that you was watching this episode so KT and I can reach out to you and tell you two small, simple words. What is that, KT? Appreciate it. No, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's still, that's still two words, though. I know, but appreciated it just came out. Look, thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. Y'all know it's time to get this party started. Right, turn it up. I'm so super excited about this one, ladies and gentlemen. This young lady is a walking bucket, but we're gonna find out a little bit more about what makes her tick off the court to get this show started. Welcome to the Sports Life Talks Initiation. All right, Sinise, to in initiate you into the SLT family, got to give us your top five music artists. Um, Future, Lil Baby, Drake, Bryson Tiller, and Be a Young Boy. 
that new Bryson Till out. I, Kevin, she went quick. And, be, yeah, and y'all went know, quick. y'all know, young boy. You know a young boy from. Put your hands up. It's been a while since we had Kevin, young boy. It's been a while since we had young boy. This guy's Sunny. Sunny sent throw the L up, then you don't throw it up. So then he stole the hell up. There it is. There it is. What are you doing? Get on his side. No. Yeah. Oh, I got something for you in a second. All right. So what we like to do, we like to rank everybody's top five. And the highest you can get is 10. So since you want to throw your hell up, so that kind of costs you a little bit. But now, B. Jones, I like the top five. Let's give her 18. Let's give her 18 for a top 18? five. 18? How old are you, Sinise? 17. See, you gave her more than what she ate. That's, that's wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Can I retract that statement and give her 17? Uh, it's 18, Give her 18, give her 18, come on. <laughs> the last one was, was a horn, KT. That was the end of it. Goodness, where did that come from? Who is your favorite superhero and why? Um... I'll probably say Spider-Man. I don't know. I don't really like watching superheroes, but. <laughs> okay, so B. Jones. Remember I said I was going to, you know, be upset if she didn't say a certain person? Yeah. Sinise Rainey. What's one character she could have went with, B. Jones? That's a part of the X-Men. I don't know. Rain. Oh, Storm? Storm would have been the perfect one. Oh, <laughs> man, that's a... <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Goodness, you know I'm a superhero geek, B. Yeah, you're a superhero I geek. Too. I respect that about you. Sinise, do you do you watch X Men or do you know anything about? She, yeah, KT, she wasn't no. gonna guess that. She wasn't gonna guess that one. You would have did better off with Catwoman or something. She probably don't know that one either, B. Jones. I don't know. I mean, all right. So since every good superhero needs their own theme music, what would your theme song be? Um, probably be paid by Little Things. I don't know how that one go. How does, how does that go? Um, yeah, 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 we pay. Yeah, 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 we pay. Yeah, 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 we pay. I don't right, give her two I... more, B. Jones. The fact that she did that, go give her two more. <laughs> All right, so we have a running debate on this show, Sinise, where I want to be a singer and B. Jones wants to be a dancer. So we need for you to break the tie for your episode. Would you rather be a singer or would you rather be a dancer? Dancer. You make us go! <laughs> Let's go. I'm giving her another one. KT is finally us dancers are coming out of the blame. Hey, we coming out of ETH on y'all. We dancing everywhere. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, did, you, did y'all talk like in advance because y'all vibing too much and I'm not really liking it. All right. So what is something that basketball has taught you that you can use when you're not on the court? Um, Probably how to handle failure because um, I have like my highs and lows and I just think that um, if I focus on my success, then I should be fine. All right, so B and I, we love to travel. And when we travel, we got to eat. So we come out there to watch y'all play. What's going to be that one food spot you're going to recommend? What's going to be your go-to meal there? Um, 54th Street and Chicken Tenders. Of course, go hard. We shot a shout out to Coach Kavina Lawrence. She took us to 54th Street not too long ago. It was delicious. I, I need to try the chicken fingers though. So uh we we gonna we gonna be we're gonna be back out there pretty soon, 54th Street. So uh yeah, we'll be in Mansfield soon, so we definitely going back there. <laughs> All right, so get ready to hear the story of a rising star in the world of high school basketball as we shine a spotlight on Sunise Rainey. As she enters into her senior senior year, Sunise has been driving for us behind Panther Creeks. Rise, bringing a storm of talent and, t- and determination to the court. Standing at 6'1", her versatility as both guard and forward creates a whirlwind of, of excitement of fans and for opponents alike. Join us as we dive into Sinise's journey, where her presence on the court is electrifying as a thunderstorm and as unstoppable as a downpour. So, B. Jones, go ahead and take it away, bro. <laughs> No, I, lo- I love how you rain and uh, the whirlwind came. You, you, you too much. I, lo- I love it. That was first class, my guy. But Sinise Rainey, fifteen. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the to the Sports Life Talk family. We are super excited. I'm telling y'all, this is me. This this is a full circle moment for us. We get we get these these emotional episodes every once in a while because this is one of the few people that she earned us her seat on the show. You know, what I'm talking. We literally had no knowledge of a Sinise Rainey. We show up to to support a whole nother team, and boom. She uh she set the world on fire and impressed us 
uh, severely that day, and she left a she left a really big imprint on our hearts, and that's what we, we we've been wanting to have this young lady on the show for a super super long time. But with that being said, Sinise, we, we let's let's go back to your, your to your gymnastics days. Is, is that what she said, KT? She was a gymnast. Let's go back to to, to when you were just starting this thing. When did you fall in love with the game of basketball? Okay, so I did gymnastics, or I did think I did soccer first, and then I did gymnastics, but then I ended up moving, so I picked up soccer again, and then I didn't pick up a basketball until I was like 10 years old, and then I started playing at a field house for a few years. I didn't start playing AU until 8th grade, and then I started falling in love from there. Now, we don't get to see a lot of 6-1 guards, but I think that's kind of the evolution of uh, a women's basketball. Did you first, like, what part of your game did you first start working on? Did you did you work on, like, hey, getting the rebounds and being having an interior presence, or did you did you just come out the gate shooting that shot? Because that, that corner ball of yours is just absolutely beautiful. What, what part of your game did you, did you naturally adapt to, and, and what have you had to work on in, in your journey? Well, I started being a post first because I was always the tallest person on my team. Yeah. So I started doing that, and then until my when I got to my freshman year, I started getting in the corner more. Cause so I went to Memorial, so like we already had like a bunch of posts and guards or whatever. So I started on the corner, and then that's when I kind of developed my shot, and then I carried it on. And now it's butter, smooth like butter. She got hey, that talk about that shot be raining on them. <laughs> no pun intended. Now, but look, listen to me. So, 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 e describe to us how you like to play, though. I mean, to describe like if somebody hadn't seen you play, how would you describe the, the Sinise Rainey style of basketball? What what is a team getting out of Sinise Rainey when you on the court? Um, obviously my shot. I would say my humbleness and like just picking everybody up that's on my team. <laughs> And and I've seen you do that numerous amount of times. Now, do you have a favorite player that you that you look up to, that you emulate, that you like? Hey, I want to play like them. Um, not really. I kind of like Stephen Curry and then Caitlin Clark, but. All right, those are some tremendously big uh, idols. Hey, we all love Steph and Caitlin. Now, you, you know, you're the first person I think we've had on here that wore one five. I, I, we don't get a lot of people that wear the number fifteen. Why, why did you choose fifteen, Sinise? So I was born on January fifteenth. So. Get out of here! That is, that, <laughs> so you want your birthday number loud and proud every time you get on the court? Have you been wearing it your whole career? Like even when you was in middle school and at ten years old? I had thirty when I was in middle school. Okay, so you just cut it in half. You're like, hey, you know, I need to cut this thing in half and and do this on my birthday. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what's up. Now, you guys at Panther Creek have uh, y'all are what I consider a little engine that could. I'm telling you, no matter what happens, everybody in the city put their money on whoever's playing Panther Creek, and y'all time after time after time go out in these playoffs. And I mean, I'm talking about y'all shock the world. I I, I got to we, we, we talked to coach Anderson, but we talked to coach Anderson before we had the opportunity to know what was really cooking over there and then and, and, and in that Panther locker room. What is that culture like of this team? And why have you guys had so much success in the playoffs and knocking off top ranked teams here locally? I would say um, my coach talks about like energy and stuff and energy effort. I think that's what wins us games because we have each other up and I think when you look at our games, we have energy and look at our games, we don't have energy. We have a lot more fun playing with the games we have energy in. So I would just say that. And then we play well together as well. So. Speaking of playing well together, one of one of the hey, I'm talking about Rottweiler type dogs is on y'all team with uh, Brian with for the win, and then with y'all two tandem. I, I kind of I mean it was like y'all had a a tandem that was uh that was like Tim Duncan and David Robinson or something. I mean y'all was just I mean y'all was out there on folks next. How fun was it to play with Brian and, and and tell us a little bit about your relationship with her on and off the court. Well, I've been playing with her since, I've known her since middle school, but we didn't get close until, I would say, sophomore year. Because I did play with her at Memorial, but I think um, she was a big part of our team last year because she needed us and guided us to win games and stuff like that, so... So when y'all got this team together, because because if I'm if, please correct me if I'm wrong, but last year was the first year of Panther Creek. Frisco opened up a new school. Panther Creek finally gets a, a girls basketball program. Nobody knows who who you guys are. Y'all go out there, y'all start putting it on folks. But when did y'all in that locker room look at each other and realize that it was something special with with this team that you guys were going to be able to accomplish a lot? Um. Probably our coach. She says that we have the opportunity to make a difference, and 
um, make a name for ourselves. So I'll just say our coach. All, all on the coach, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now this is your uh, this is your last summer going into uh, to AAU. You playing with pro skills now. Uh, this is going to kind of kick off your whole recruiting process. Have you already started the recruiting process, or um, what? Uh, or what what, what is kind of the conversations like going on in the rainy household about the next steps and evolution of your career? I haven't really talked about college that much, but I have been getting people like contacting me, contacting me and stuff. But since I had like no film to show them this year, it's kind of been hard for me to even like talk to coaches. But I think once I start playing this summer, I should be okay. Yeah, you go. You go have a big summer, and then you get to look forward to being uh, one of the mainstays, one of the leaders on that uh, on that 2025 team at uh, at six one. So, what 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 position are you gonna try to focus on next year? Like, what what do you want to display to all the scouts? Like, uh, is it, are you gonna play down low, or are you gonna try to try, try to hang out on that perimeter that wing a little bit more? Probably the perimeter. You you want to get you want to get good you want to get great out there. What what are you looking for in the school? If they, if somebody call you right now, what are you looking for? And uh, what, what excites you the most about college? You want to go far away? You want to stay home? Is is it you know you looking for a particular education avenue? What what are you looking for most to in a, in a program? I want to stay home and I want to do something like involving business. And then I would also say I would look for like a good coaching staff and just a good like um, culture overall. So. Now this is 2024. It's the year of Mamba, which uh, KT and I we we call it the year of Mamba because it's 2024. Of course, Kobe Ryan wore 24, and we feel like everybody that come on this show is a Mamba. That's just that, that's just the way we feel. So tell us that moment where Sinise Rainey became a Mamba. Well, it was on the court, off the court, but it was that moment where it all came. The perfect storm happened. <laughs> And uh, you figured out exactly who you were, and that that mama mentality was uh, was on on full display. Um, well, last year I had an injury in my elbow. Um, I think I injured like in January, but I was still playing on it. I didn't get it checked out till like April or March. So I think me playing through it um, showed that I was mentally tough. And um, yeah, so y'all went to, to be one of the final eight teams in the state. And you had an elbow injury and you were shooting like that? Oh, my mm-hmm. goodness. Kevin, did you know she was hurt? Did you know she had an injury last year? No, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I didn't know that either. Coach Adams, hey, I'm telling you that. I can't, I can't wait to see uh, what you guys get accomplished uh, on the court next year. What, what, is, what is the 17-year-old version of, of, of Sinise Rainey doing uh, when, when you're not on the court, when you're not focusing on basketball? What is just the, the lovely all-American young lady? What, what is that like? What is that version like of you? Um, hanging out, chilling with my family and my friends. Now you you seem pretty quiet. Uh, do you talk a lot when you get by yourself with you with your friends and family? Are you joking a lot or, or? If I'm comfortable, I'll like branch out. But if I'm not that comfortable, I'm a little shy. Really? Right? Yeah, you you're doing pretty good though. You you're doing really <laughs> great on this show. Now, do you talk on the court though? Because I I know I'm gonna tell you, Brian. Yeah. She get a bucket in the and one. She gonna let you know about it. She ah, oh, I, 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 she get me crunk out there. I'll be flexing out there when she get the and one. But I noticed you hit a lot of big shots. Do do you ever get like get crunk and rowdy over there? Do you do a little chirping on the court to, to the opponents? It depends. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, nah, see, like, 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 what what it, what, it, what it depends on if they were talking to you first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what my last question is: This is going to be your last, uh, your last go around as a, as a senior in high school, playing in Texas, playing in Dallas, Fort Worth. It's uh, it's just a fun occasion. Period. It's one of the most difficult markets to play in, but this is going to be the last one, so it's going to be super special for you. What are you going to miss most about being a part of this Panther Creek program, and what are you going to miss most about playing in in, in uh, high school basketball here in Texas? I would just say probably my teammates and. Um, experiencing like the call, I mean the high school like basketball aspect of it. So, do you do you like the road trips? Yes. You like getting in, on the bus? What, what y'all be doing on the bus? Y'all be rocking the bus, singing. Yeah, we we'll be joking, listening to music and stuff. Quoting Future and Little Baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's go. <laughs> Denise Rainey, welcome to the championship rounds. This is the part of the show with KT and I. We're going to do a little bit of one-on-one, and you are now 
officially calling all of the shots. So this is our version of Would You Rather on Steroids. We're going to take that singing and dancing, even though I know you're a dancer like myself. We're going to put it to the test with some more difficult options, okay? So in true championship round four fashion, we're going to go three rounds. Each round, KT and I are both going to give you an option. Whichever one of those options you select, that host gets a point, and the first host get two points, or the best out of three will win this episode's game of championship rounds, okay? So uh, I am the defending champion, so I will kick this off. It's uh, We're going we to say this is to decide if you guys go to San Antonio next year. Ten seconds left to go in the game. Y'all are on defense. You are guarding the other team's best player. They try to bring that thing down low. You being that defensive player of the year, you get a steal. You look up. One of your players is streaking down the court. You hit them with a cross-court pass. They lay the ball up at the buzzer. The buzzer sounds. Panther Creek storm the court. And we are going to San Antonio. Or your team gets a defensive stop. Coach Adams calls a play for you. You look up at the clock. And with time expiring, you knock down the game winning three. I would say pass it across the court to my teammate. <laughs> oh my goodness that's that coach I see coach Adams to raise these kids right that's what I'm talking about she is talking to me <laughs> because she picked yours that's why you're saying that BJ move on around two. <laughs> oh, I love it I love it I love it alright here we go round two is about media and entertainment okay so you guys got something crazy it's, it's, a, it's something special over there at, at, at Panther Creek so I'm gonna get a film crew and we're going to show up on campus and we're going to showcase when, when y'all report to school, the film crew is going to be there and we're going to do it last chance you style. We're going to film y'all in the classroom, on the crazy bus rides, in the locker room, on the court, at practice, even have some, some footage of y'all hanging out at the local Dairy Queen. I don't care. We're going to show everybody the world of Panther Creek basketball from the inside out and showing how you guys have built this amazing program in just three seasons or you get to host your own food show on TikTok, where you get to travel the world, interviewing other high school players, getting to know more about them while eating at some of the best places in the world. Um, the film crew. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Two, zero! Y'all know what that means. The win is in the book for M-O-T-S. But we're gonna do round three anyway. We're gonna do round three anyway, because it's a uh it's one of it's one of my favorite rounds. And if you've not been watching the show before, then if you if this you're new, then uh this is the sneaker round. KT and I, we don't do any talking in round three. We take it to the sneaker game. As a matter of fact, come hang out with me, KT, and the rest of the Sports Life Talk crew Wednesday nights at eight o'clock PM Central Standard Time. I personally do a segment called the drop, and I talk about the new sneakers that's coming out. So Come check it out if you want to know what heat is on the streets. Come be a part of our Wednesday Night Live. But before the show, KT and I, we went in our bag of tricks. We went in our collection and we picked a sneaker that we think you would like. Okay, Sinise? So on the count of three, we're going to get you to say, hold that sneaker. And whatever you say, we go, uh, excuse me, whichever shoe you pick, that host will get the final point. All right? And this is a big point. To me, this point is almost really worth two points, but... I already won this episode. I'm not giving them two points. All right, so here we go, Sinise. You ready? Mm -hmm. On the count of three, hold that sneaker. Three, two, one. Hold that sneaker. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kevin, I don't know. I think I might have to go to the other one. God, I didn't think you was going to go that direction. These would go dope with that, that Panther Creek yeah, uniform, sure though, yeah. man. Oh, my God. We thought alike on that one. Oh. All right. So now we're going to a second pass, sneakers. It's a second round showdown. All right, Kevin. Show us what you got, man. Let's go. You put yours up, too. I had to come back with the Panther Creek colors, man. I'm sorry. I like the green ones. Oh, yeah, I, I know I couldn't beat no Kobe's. No, you can't beat the Kobe branches. That's when uh, I want to get swept. I pull something out like that. It don't matter. <laughs> and still, I'm like Panther Creek. I know how to win. 
when it comes to clutch, big pressure situations. I know how to pull out a W. Thank you, Coach Adams. I, I, I'm going to give Coach Adams credit for this because she, she, she gave you that, that, that basketball acumen to let you know the right answers in this one. All right, Sinise, we got to get them out here. We're going to take them home, but we got to leave them with something positive. Everybody who's watching the show, we uh, they, they clicked on it and they found out the title was You Got Dick. So that means we're going to talk about the future more than we're going to talk about the past, okay? With that being said, what's up next with Sinise Rainey? What are you looking forward to? What gets you excited as you progress through your basketball journey? Finishing my senior year. Going to state and making it to college. There it is. That's so sweet and simple, KT. We're going to see this young lady at the next level, but more importantly, I can't wait to see him in San Antonio next year. Oh, yeah, because we definitely will be there for the first time. B. Jones, we finally got to get out there. All right, Sydney, do you have any shout outs you want to give? Um, shout out to my teammates, my friends, my family for everything that they've done for me. Like she's right, humble. She, yeah, she, she said she was humble earlier. Remember, she said that. got me emotional the way she said that. Everybody that's been up. <laughs> yeah, well, I, mean, I mean, she got me emotional, B. Jones, but not in that, in that way. I'm over upset. I'm going to start talking noise to her so she can go hoop or something. All right, Sinise, this, this is the part of the show where you get a chance to call the person that you think should have next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with B. Jones and KT. Told them my story. Why don't you do the same thing? With that said, Sinise, who are you calling out? Who should have um, next? My teammate, Jada Wade. All right, Jada Wade, you are officially on the clock. Let the world know that you are up next. Denise Rainey just punched your ticket. And we're going to get you on the show to come tell us your story. And we're going to have a fun time doing it. So uh, look out. We're going to be reaching out to you super, super, super soon. But with that being said, Sinise Rainey, you got next. You are a young line, this young lady. You are the truth. I love your energy. You are super humble. You are charismatic. You are down to earth and genuine, an all-American young lady on and off the court. You carry yourself super, super, super well. You are extraordinary and elite. You deserve a yeet. Ain't no stopping us now. Yeah, I feel so good with these shows. I'm telling y'all, it's the best job in America. Thank y'all for watching another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next. We appreciate you so much. We cannot do this if it wasn't for you. And we wouldn't do this if it wasn't for you. We're going to keep working hard for you, but we need you to show us some love. We need you on the other side of this right now to become the M. V P of this episode, you know what you got to do. Smash that subscribe button. Send this show to all your people and hit that like button. Don't forget to drop that smiley face. You mean the laughing emoji if you uh, if you do any of those things and just to let us know. And if you want to be on the show, Jada Wade is coming. It's Jada Wade, right? Yes. Jada Wade is coming on the show. We're going to get her story on here. But if you got a story, hit us up go to our website slt you got next.com click on the nominate tab tell us a little bit about why why you feel like you got next and we gonna reach out and give you an audition it is just that simple we can't folk we, we we down to earth we promise you we're not gonna leave anybody on red number number two we have every last one of these shows in our audio format so if you're a podcast junkie like myself if you want to listen in the car in the kitchen while you cook or even by you know doing your homework you just need some positive vibes in the hemisphere you can download this show as well as over 500 shows in the audio format wherever you download your your podcast and keep the party going with the smooth sultry sounds of the mouth of the South B. Jones and the velvet tones of the head coach, KT. Cam, another great, great episode. I don't know what didn't happen, but I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let you get us up out of here, sir. Sinise, thank you so much for rocking with us. Whatever you need from us, please let us know, and we got your back. Thank you. Hey, Sinise, so who would win if me and KT challenged you and Brian in a game of two-on-two? Me and Brian. <laughs> she said that a little bit too easy. It was slightly disrespectful How quickly she I said mean, it, it was disrespectful B. Jones but it was the truth Because I'm not playing against you <laughs> Me neither I don't want none of that smoke Sports Life Talk Nation We love y'all Stay safe Be blessed Respect each other And love one another Because together We are better And keep dreaming big Because you never know Your story may be the next one Featured on Sports Life Talks You got next Yeet! I knew you had next, cause you always working, you always grinding, you're in your bag, cause you're always working, like, in due time, I just, I knew you got next. Oh, you
you did it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smash and goes. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk out the baddest show, like the baddest hut in the room. Podcast to tune into just for you to talk your shit. Talk your mushroom. You want what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next, it's a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity. What's up next is you, at least you better be. Life talking this, yeah, yeah, yeah.